The India that we know today is known for tradition and culture and also known for urbanization and freedom. India is rich in heritage as it is known to be one of the oldest civilization to exist. The country is known for cricket, Bollywood, foot, spirituality, jewelry, etc. What would India be like if there was no British colonial rule? The British Raj also proved to be one of the most successful and beneficial to the Raj. India was the jewel in the crown of the British Empire. As well as spices, jewels and textiles, India had a huge population. Also one of the reasons why the British wanted to colonize India was because they wanted to control the spice trade because those type of spices are originally from India where they harvest. Secondly, British wanted to colonize India because of their profit. They gained a huge profit because they took resources from this particular colony and sold it back to the country with a bigger price to make the colony poor. To understand the British rule in India, we need to go back to the time in the early 17th century when European merchants went to India for trading goods such as sugar, cottons, and spices. In that same time, European nations started to start factories to process resources like the British East India Company. British India Company was established in 31st of December 1600 um, for trading resources with locals, especially the spice trade in the East. For the next 100 years, those countries made a lot of profits from trading with India and they wanted more goods, so when the local rulers in Bengal put some restrictions, the British went to war and forced the locals to work with them. Gradually, they started fighting different kingdoms and the French to control India. In 1857, there was an Indian rebellion because the company, British uh, India Company, carted, um, issued cartridges with grease, with uh, fat cows and pigs that uh, infuriate the, the both of the Hindus and Muslim, and nearly successfully kicked the British out. But the lack of central leadership, the rebellion stopped in 1858, and the British India Company uh, land was uh, transferred back to the crown. For the next hundred years, British monarch uh, ruled India until 15 of August 1947. In that time, um, small princely state in India became part of British protectorates. Um, the British gave a lot of beneficial for India. For example, education, they built a lot of schools and university to uh, learn. Uh, they built new brands of uh, new railway networks to make different regions around India to be connected uh, with the prohibition of uh, sati, abolition of child marriage, and introduction of widow remarriage, etc. Um, British eradicate uh, age old social evils from the Indian society. Further, the undermining of caste and sex uh, distinctions were certain other commendable measures of the British which encouraged the Indians to in cooperate. All these ideas while framing their constitution. Catholic city was uh, introduced to Indian society by British authorities. But with that, there are side effects of colonialism. There was a lot of famine, notably the Bengal and the Great Famine killed about um, 8 million people alone from those two famines. The reason behind this is they forced India to produce cash crops like cotton, tea and indigo for produced goods. There was also genocide happened in 1919 that caused 300 to 100, 327 men, women and children death. This caused people to fight for India's own independence with Mahatan Gandhi being the neural person. Mahatma Gandhi was born on 2nd October 1869 and died on 30th January 1948. 
He was an anti-war activist and the leader of India's non-violent independence movement against British rule and in South Africa advocated for the civil rights of Indians. In 1915, after his return to India, he organized peasants, farmers and urban laborers to protest against excessive land tax and discrimination. British partition is an event that took place after the independence of India. In 1947, British India was divided which accompanied the creation of two independent domination India and Pakistan. About 14 million Muslim Sikhs and Hindus were displaced. This event is considered to be one of the biggest migration ever in the human history. The migration also caused millions of deaths. and has been a big shame of those two nations majority of the muslims lived in pakistan and the majority of hindus lived in india and so in august of 1947 india and pakistan were officially formed nehru became prime minister of india and jinnah became prime minister of pakistan Before British India, India was a state with lots of small local kingdoms. For example, Sikh, Maratha, Mysore, Durrani, etc. The European powers had also established trade with different kingdoms or empire to build factories for their citizens' good. The Mughals, that were the Muslims, ruled over the Hindu majority. Akbar, who was the third Mughal emperor who reigned from 1556 to 1605, maintained his rule by his religious tolerance and Mughal military might, much like the British later. Based on Indian perspective, the British Raj had a very big impact on India. The British introduced things like education. transportation resources architecture and of course the english language there were cons as well like tragedies like famine and partition stopped the old industries such as ship building metal work glass paper which caused poverty in the country